Pisces. Hey, babe, what you doing? What you, what you doing, Pisces? <laughs> Whatever you doing, I hope that you are feeling good, feeling fantastic, my ninjas. And if you're not, you know it's my intention that you will be by the end of this reading, Pisces. So come on in, my loves. I am so grateful for y'all coming back home to your home planet. All right, and if you're new here, welcome home. Baby, we've been waiting on you. And we so glad you finally made it to the house. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can make it official and become a citizen of your home planet, all right? We don't want you lost out here in these YouTube streets, okay? We are rocking our merch today, okay, Pisces? Do it anyway, Pisces. Do it anyway. Step out the crowd. Go create your own. You know what I'm saying? Come on through now, okay? These shirts will be available for purchase very soon. All right, so I'll make an announcement when they are, okay, Pisces? So let's get into it. Oh, hey, little damselfly. All right, fairies could be significant. All right, elemental assistance could be significant. Nature, period, all right? So let's see what is coming. What you, uh, maybe what you don't see coming. I wasn't gonna do that, but sure, all right? So what does Pisces not see coming, spirit? What's on the way to Pisces? Let's get a few more shuffles, y'all. Don't forget to like the video. If you need a personal reading, look down below in the description box. All that good shit, all right? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Love spell. You've been bewitched. All right, Pisces, tell me more. Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? Energy is coming towards Pisces. Come through, guardian angel. Okay, I'm telling, did y'all just see the damselfly just fly by? I'm telling you, somebody here has some, some assistance. You understand? Okay. Listen. Come on, ancestors. Say what you want to say, spirit. Okay, confirmation, my ninjas. All right, February the 24th. That could be somebody's birthday. All right, spirit, come through. What's coming towards Pisces? The guardian angel says a lost loved one uh, watches over you, okay? It's something about a relaxation or more than just that is giving me a feeling of like who that's over with or who I'm done with that or it's almost like um it's giving me when I was in college right when I was in university and I would wait until the last minute to do reports and papers and shit like that and then that feeling you get right before you uh before it's due and you turn it in and you're like oh lord I did that seven page you know whatever project or whatever is done right it's, it's giving me that like a release of some sort okay oh let go i'm telling you it's like a whoo it's done it is done all right spirit anything else from this deck on what's coming towards pisces please all right beltane could be significant okay um sandwin i think that's what you call it all right, that's like around Halloween and the Day of the Dead, okay? That time of year could be significant. You have communicate, so you may have some communication coming through from the other side, Pisces. All right, a lost loved one could be trying to tell you something here now. All right, all right. All right, a Gemini could be significant, a Virgo. Give me more spirit. What's coming towards Pisces? Okay, social media could be significant as well. Y'all, on the bottom of the deck again, we got love spell, okay? Somebody could be, like, wanting to communicate with you, all right? And look, you got uh, for your, uh, at the bottom of the deck, all right, April the 25th could be significant. Now, that's in a few days. That day could be significant, all right? But you got the Empress of Libra or a Taurus could be significant as well as a Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I'm sorry, what the freak is this? Who is this? Pisces. Look, y'all. Whatever it is, somebody had somebody, it could be a feminine energy. You got three females. Female women, okay? <laughs> three women. 
Okay, you got the five of swords and the five of wands. Who is out here competing? Well, look, ain't nobody got time. Okay, ain't nobody got time. Whatever, whoever. All right, it's done. All right, they got to chill out. Chill out. All right, spirit. Anything else? Love spell fell out, y'all. All right, somebody may want to take a risk or want you to take a risk on them or you take a, or, or if they take a risk on you or something like that. All right, let's see if anything else comes out here. Okay, spirit, let's go to the next row. Anything else, spirit? What's coming towards Pisces? I'm gonna just look at this card. It didn't come out, but it's sliding down. Give it time. All right, so something's gonna require patience here. All right, it could be this new love or something about love. Then we have pets. It could be some sneaky ass energies around you that a guardian angel is trying to uh, trying to tell you about or something. And then distance under love spell. Okay, a water sign could be significant. And then you have someone still trying to figure out their, figure themselves out, okay? All right, so it's something about allowing something. All right, just right be just being in a receptive energy to receive something here okay all right another water sign pisces scorpio or cancer could be significant spirit what is the guardian angel and communicate what are the guardian angels trying to tell pisces okay the page of pentacles is something here about like patience y'all but this is also a message It's good news though. Like this is this is the, the bringer of good news, okay? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, any of those names could be significant. That's what I always think about with the good news, the gospels of Jesus Christ, okay? The good news, all right? This is a page of pentacles, okay? Spirit, what's this? Communicate, guardian angel love spell, please. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Either you or somebody else is about to be in freaking love with something. I don't know now. We finna find that. All right, spirit. Let's do it like this. How we gonna do it? Oh, child. And the page is still on the bottom of the deck, y'all. Oh, Lord. It's a big-ass black spider. Whoa, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hold on, y'all. He running like he stole something, okay? Hold on. You can't be doing that, Mr. Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, somebody that could be Toby. <laughs> okay, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Hold on, okay. Oh, Jesus. I got to move this card and he under the card, y'all. Give me a minute now. Ain't nobody got time. Come on, Mr. Spider-Man. Jesus. Go on about your business, sir. Why you run so fast? Lord, all right, I'm gonna be right here, y'all, okay? Spirit, tell me more. Guardian angel communicate. Ooh, we got the two of pentacles with the eight of swords. Okay, the six of swords and the ace of pentacles wanted to pop out too. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. You gonna have to get on about your business, though. Ain't nobody got time. I had to... I had to send them on the glory, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Noah. Okay, we back. We back. All right, Spirit, tell me more. What is this guardian angel? It's like they're trying to... The Ace of Pentacles. Give me a second. Tell me more about these first three cards, Spirit. The Nine of Cups. What's the Eight of Swords? The Queen of Swords. What's the Two of Pentacles? Some of y'all could have options in love, okay? You got the Emperor and the Nine of Swords that came out. Give me a minute. Some it's because remember the thing said somebody's still trying to figure themselves out. Somebody's dealing with something that got them going back and forth. It's something mental. You got the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, and the um, the uh, King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So you got Aries, uh, 
uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy out here. Tell me about this emperor and the nine of swords with the eight of swords. What's, what's all this? It's like somebody in their mind too much. You got the nine of swords, eight of swords, and the queen of swords here. What's this emperor? Who is, I don't know if this you or them uh, Pisces. <coughs> Just put the energy where it go, please. What's going on with this eight of swords and the nine of swords to the emperor? Four of swords, y'all. Somebody needs to rest their mind about something. Or they can't rest their mind. Like something is, what's, what's the issue here, spirit? The ace of pentacles, the six of swords to the page of pentacles. Somebody could be like kind of scared to start over or something. Okay, this person or you could be like freshly out of a relationship or something with someone who could have possibly been kind of cold. Okay, with this queen of swords here. All right, it's giving me an energy of someone who needs to separate the past from what could possibly be the future. Give me a minute. What happened, spirit? to this queen of swords or this emperor, whoever this is. The seven of pentacles. I'm telling you, something happened. I'm telling you. Look, now you got the seven of pentacles, five of pentacles, right? With the, the uh, hangman. Like someone is having to gain a new perspective on how love works. You understand? I hope that makes sense. Somebody here has, has experienced something in their past. They could have felt left out in the cold, right? Like, love is just ain't loving. You understand me? Like, just experiencing hardships in love. Somebody could kind of still feel bound to their past, something that happened in their past. Okay. All right. So, let's give it time, pets and distance, spirit. The Ten of Swords. Damn. Just fell behind me. Tell me more spirit. Somebody could have had someone that was not very honest in the past. Okay, somebody who could have had like sneaky links. Somebody may have trust issues. I'm telling you, to clarify pets, we got the three of cups. I'm telling you, somebody here is possibly getting over some sort of like being in some sort of third party or someone who was just kind of not very all the way honest, okay? The hangman on the bottom of the deck again, y'all. This person is going to need a new perspective or you, whoever this is, okay? Tell me more spirit. It's too many. Wow. The three of wands, the fool, and the justice. Give me a minute. 33 could be significant. All right. Bless their heart. Yo, this person could still be kind of like wishing something on their ex or on the last person that they were with. They want some sort of like get back. I'm not going to lie. Somebody may want like, okay, so just be aware that somebody may be still wanting something. I don't know how to say that, but I'm telling you, the seven of wands, like somebody wants someone else to feel what they felt. this is you may have to exercise patience with them with the six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck or they may have to do this with you because i feel as though someone kind of gave of themselves to someone who wasn't receptive to their love and this person could have taken advantage of them taking a kindness for weakness or something like that or this could be you
What's this Queen of Swords here for spirit? This person is trying to figure out how to get to what they look, how to get to their wish fulfillment, how to get this this nine of cups, right? Somebody, it's like, bless them, Lord. I feel like it's it's really kind of a little, it's feeling kind of karmic, but I'm gonna just be honest. Like this person could be going back and forth with themselves on if they want to revisit their past to pay somebody back. Okay, that's that's the energy I'm getting for sign. Hey, little damselfly. Hello. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Somebody here got some assistance though. I don't know you or this person. Probably both of y'all. Eight of Swords to the Queen of Swords spirit. What is this? I'm telling you, bro, look, I'm telling somebody experienced being in a third party. Somebody experienced being in a third party and it's some sort of attachment here. It's some, look, look, like literally, it's some sort of attachment here. Look, you got attachment here you got bound up here like somebody is still bound to something whether that bind bonding is them like thinking about like oh my god they played me or um whatever the case may be somebody has to release something to be able to move forward i feel like they trying to figure it out but all right tell us about this person this emperor spirit what is this that, what's going on with them the Hermit and the Magician. All right, a Virgo, a Gemini could be significant. Aries, Capricorn, Libra. Okay. Temperance on the bottom, Sagittarius. This person could have could have been like very much a. Uh, Whatever happened in this person past, it fucked with their ego. It messed with their confidence. Somebody could really be trying to find that oomph within themselves again. That 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 spark. Somebody wanna turn a, a, a fucked up situation, excuse my mouth. Uh, a messed up situation into something more abundant. A Leo could be significant. All right, Sagittarius. All right, so what are their intentions with uh, Pisces, Spirit, King of Wands? Oh, baby, come on, lay it on down, lay it on down. What are their intentions with Pisces? <laughs> what are their intentions with Pisces, Spirit? All them women, remember all them women? In the beginning, we got the eight of cups on the bottom of the day. Give me a second. This, somebody can have multiple options here. Okay, you had the Empress, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups in the beginning, okay? Somebody can have like literally three options. Three, three, three is out here. What are their intentions with Pisces, Spirit? The Eight of Wands. The Page of Swords. The Strength on the bottom. Let me get another deck. Hold on. Jesus, what are their intentions with Pisces, Spirit? All right, you got Gemini, Virgo, if I didn't say that earlier. Mistakes on the bottom of the deck. This person doesn't want to repeat a cycle. This person, Lord Jesus... Let me tell y'all, it's so crazy. Lord, we got to heal, y'all. <laughs> I 
it's like this person so some of y'all may not have met this person yet because I was gonna say it's going to feel like like this person I feel as though this person is going to be smitten you understand me okay but they're gonna hold themselves back because it's something they don't understand like their emotions their um this person could even feel like you like it's something about you that's very alluring and almost un how do you say like they're not able to control themselves around you or something long story short this person could be kind of scared but to invest based on something that happened here in their past that they are still holding on to right okay i feel like this person doesn't want their past to repeat but they keep they still thinking about it and what where your attention go your where your uh attention go your energy flows right and that's what you wind up manifesting if you constantly thinking about the bullshit from the past you're giving it energy that's what this person is it looks like they still trying to figure something out because you got mistakes on the bottom i wish i could right my wrongs all right tell me more spirit unexpected outcome and gossip is here okay For some of y'all, this person is something about starting over. All right, Gossip says, I'm afraid of what other people will think. I'm telling you, it's something about this person starting over. This person could be coming out of like a long-term relationship. All right. And maybe like kind of holding themselves back because they're like, yo, how the hell can I have fallen, fallen so quickly? What is some what are others gonna think if I go and I be with Pisces and I just got out of this relationship two weeks ago or whatever the case may be? Their intentions for you don't they look good. You got a 2221 on the clock, and it looked like the Oh, it's a B. Oh, it's a B. Jesus. Okay, Lord. Gaia, <laughs> get your folks good. Spirit, what's their intentions with Pisces? Let's see. Mistakes. I'm telling you, I wish I could right my wrongs. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell you? I knew it. And then secrets. This person experienced some third parties in the back. Uh, in the back? <laughs> what? What? I don't know about that, y'all. Okay, I'm struggling to find my path. Lord, I'm getting so many messages. Hold on, y'all. This person could have trust issues, bro. Destiny, I'm still struggling to find my path. It's something about you being an inspiration to this person too, Pisces. Is this a new person spirit or is this, then you got dishonesty here on the bottom of the deck. Is this a new person spirit? Lord, have mercy. You got the will of fortune. For some of y'all, it could be someone from the past. And then you got the seven of swords. Ew. 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 Let's see. Tell me more about this person. There's way too many. What's the uh, Seven of Swords spirit? I'm actually going to put these two back. What's the Seven of Swords? The Queen of Wands is here. 
What's the seven of swords for this person? The seven of wands. Somebody could feel like the shit that they did in the past. Okay, so just put the energy where it go. Either this is this like this person was either the did had a third party or somebody had a third party on them. Whatever, the, whether it was them that did it or somebody else that did it, that shit is fucking with them in present day. This person feels as though some sort of karma. Like this person could be feeling like, let's say for instance, it's a new person for some of y'all, right? And this person is used to having third parties they're never honest with anyone but it's something about pisces to where it's like you can't they can't do this shit with you they can't pull this shit they can't pull a, the wool over your eyes type of shit right and this person is like well damn you know can i trust this can i can i invest in this it's something about a holding themselves back either because they have been in third parties and started third parties or somebody had a third party on them okay this person is it's like they're used to sneaky energies and they're is is giving me an energy of like they feel like it's going to happen again either it's going to the cycle is going to happen again or either they ass is going to get karma you understand what i'm telling you interesting this person feels like some shit they did in the past dang my ninja okay we need to tell them, come on, do it anyway. Just try it. Stop keeping yourself in this little... Stop. Why are you following this the group? Come on. Try some new shit. Didn't I tell y'all something earlier about, like, gambling? Like, somebody wanted to take a risk. They got to get out their own fucking way first, though. But anyway, Pisces, I hope that this reading helped. I love y'all so much. Okay? We will be having our next um, healing ceremony very soon. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's May the 7th. Um, but it's for the new moon in Taurus. But of course, uh, as soon as I get a little bit more information from Spirit, the downloads coming through, I will post um, the link for you to reserve your spot for that ceremony. We had so much fun. It was so beautiful. Our healing ceremony last month that I know this one is going to be even that much more beautiful. Okay. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And um, I'll, I'll see y'all next time. Love you, Pisces.